The Alabama Supreme Court ruling that impacted in vitro fertilization procedures has attracted the attention of the U.S. Health and Human Services Secretary. He was in Birmingham today and our Lisa Crane was there as he met with women impacted by the pause in IVF procedures. Yeah, so Lisa joins us live this evening. Lisa, what did he have to say during that visit? Well, he actually met with eight IVF patients and asked a whole lot of questions, really encouraging to encouraging them to tell their own story and how this ruling and its ripple effects are impacting their very personal fertility journeys. In what was such a dark time? The highest ranking health leader in the nation had at times a very emotional discussion with several women who say the Alabama Supreme Court's decision has impacted their dream of growing their families. It is terrifying to think right now that I feel like my embryos are locked up. We're not allowed to move them. We're not allowed to transport them. Um, I wish that every embryo meant a living baby, but I'm here today to say that every embryo is the chance of a living baby and this recent ruling is taking away that chance for all of us. Secretary Javier Becerra says this is the downstream effect of the high court's overturning of Roe v. Wade. You can't access the care even if you may have some eggs or embryos there you can't access that. Roe would not have permitted this to occur but the moment we broke that constitutional right to access uh, for that care the states were left to do as they wish. This discussion was happening as State Senator Tim Melson introduced this bill in Montgomery that would provide civil and criminal immunity for IVF providers. But Secretary Becerra says this issue is bigger than Alabama and a remedy needs to come on a national level. I just cannot live under the false belief anymore that in this country, and certainly not in Alabama right now, that I have the freedom to make choices about my body, my reproductive health, my future that are right for me because that's not an option. Now some of those some of those women who spoke today said they have looked into having their frozen embryos moved to another state, but the specialized transporting companies who actually carry that kind of cargo aren't willing to take on the liability of either facing criminal charges or a civil case if an embryo, a frozen embryo, is damaged or destroyed. Live in Birmingham, Lisa Crane, WVTM 13.